Hey guys, what's going on? Moto AK47. Uh, for my newbies and my other experienced riders out there, if you don't know how to mount your phone onto your motorcycle handlebars or your bicycles or anything that you're riding with handlebars or mounting areas, um, this is how you do it, all right? You get your motorcycle or bicycle mounting hardware and then obviously your phone and the purpose of this is in case you want to use your phone for music and change your uh, music or change to the next song or your volume or if you want to use your GPS and you need to see your phone while you're riding this is how you do it all right so I went on Amazon and got a Monogora all right there's a tons of brands out there you can buy this stuff at uh, Best Buy, Walmart, wherever you're shopping at, most of the places have them. Um, I got mine off of Amazon. Uh, it was about 30 bucks, all right, for this Monogora. There's tons of them out there, like I said. Uh, this Monogora came with three different uh, bands, just different colors. Um, has the actual handlebar mounting bracket that goes on your handlebars, comes with um, the rubber inserts so you don't scratch up your handlebars comes with two extra uh, outside spacers so in case you have some oversized handlebars this will adjust to that length and it comes with a longer screw as well for those oversized handlebars so you can fit uh, the mount on there successfully with no issues um, I'll show you how this goes together real quick, but first you take your, your bracket, you put whatever band on it that you want, and remember with these bands, don't have them sideways, they actually go vertical like this, the longer triangle top pieces go on the top of your phone and the shorter ones go at the bottom of your phone, and all they do is loop around to the front side of your phones. So I'll show you with my S10 here, they go just like this on the back top parts go over each of the corners the bottom uh, shorter triangles go at the bottom corners but with the bracket the rubber band goes on first like this then you put your screw on that and then you put your actual uh, spring-loaded clamp on make sure your screw is facing towards you, all right. Then your ball goes in the hole. <laughs> and then you just simply screw it on. And then all you do is unscrew your screw here, take the back plate off place it on your handlebars and then screw the screw back in and then adjust the angle how you want it obviously and remember your rubber band goes vertical on your phone and your phone goes in just like this spring loaded clamps onto your phone and the rubber band goes on the corners That's what it looks like on the back. And here's what it looks like on the front. So as you're riding, this is what you see. All right, if you need to use your GPS, it's there. If you need to turn your volume up or down, it's there. If you need to see what time it is, it's there, all right? So this is what it looks like without the motorcycle, obviously, or your bicycle. So I'll take you guys outside right now uh, to see what it looks like on the motorcycle and again this holder can fit a Galaxy S10 all the way down to any other size phone like a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 this is my older phone it's a Samsung Galaxy S6 so we can hold this as well even though my S10 that I just recently picked up is a lot bigger and fatter and it has a 
black web case on it similar to the outer box case so if you guys haven't seen my uh, comparison with the black web case for 16 bucks make sure you go check that out as well uh, it's on the channel as compared to the outer box case like you should get those at Walmart instead of your carrier phone stores for 50 or 60 bucks get get it at Walmart for 30 bucks so Again, I'll take you guys outside right now just to see what it looks like on uh, my Jixer 750. I actually bought this one for my Jixer 1100, and I needed it for my Jixer 1100 because I was finding myself putting my phone in my pocket because I didn't have a, a phone holder on the Jixer 1100. It's only on the 750, so that's why I bought this one. So I'll see you guys outside. All right, guys, we're out here with the bikes. All right, showing you how to get this phone mount all hooked up, all right, to your motorcycle. Like I said, I've already got it on my Jixer 750. All right, this is what it looks like on the motorcycle already. All right, now, first thing you wanna do is find out where you want to actually mount your phone mount on your handlebars all right just like my 750 i have a, a bar right here that connects my mirrors to my windscreen all right down to the frame of my bike all right same bar all right so that's where i'm gonna mount it on my Jixer 1100 all right remember the problem i was having was i'd had to put my phone in my pocket and if i needed to use my gps i couldn't i'd have to stop uh, turn the bike off on the side of the road, look at my GPS to see what exit I was getting off on or getting on on, etc, etc. So this is what helps you get your music playing, not have to stop and change your music, not have to stop and see where you're going on your GPS, stuff like that. So that's why you get your bike mount. So I'll set you guys up right here so you can see what's going on. All you're doing is remember unscrewing your bottom screw. And you do have a nut in here. All right, so don't lose that nut. You need that to screw uh, the screw back in. So it might fall out, so be careful. All right, all you do is take your backing plate off just like this put your mount on my handlebars I'm putting it right here just like on my 750 so again pre inspect on where you want to put your mount at I like mine right in front and center and this bar helps me out with doing that I'm actually gonna turn mine to where my screw is on the top so I can reach it easily in case I need to take the mount off and the rubber boot or rubber insert is still on the actual other side of the rubber boot is on this backing plate And all I'm doing right now is just screwing the screw in and tightening up the grip on the bar.
All right, guys, and that's it. That's how you get your phone mount out. So I'll bring you in close so you can see. It's all gripped on there good. Screw is tightened up. I like my screw on the top so that I can reach it and take my phone mount off if I need to and hook it to something else. But honestly, I'll just leave it on here. I got plenty of these. That's what it looks like. So oh, as you're riding, all right, need your GPS, put it on, it's there. Need to change your volume of your music, it's there. All right, need to check your time, it's there. All right, that's how you get your phone mounted onto your motorcycle. So thank you guys for watching, appreciate it. Got the Jixxer 1100 hooked up, got the 750 hooked up still, all right. Just gave you guys some Corvette content as well on these valve stem caps. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram, MotoAK47. Enjoy this weather, Cleveland, Ohio people. All right, we've gotten a lot of rain. So it's finally getting a little nicer out here, but of course, when I say that, it'll probably start raining or downpouring raining within the next two days or something. So you guys know how that is, bipolar Cleveland weather. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.